you do not know everything. It's time to upgrade your life. And how to upgrade your life is be able to upgrade your taxes. Quit thinking you grown, you ain't too grown, okay? Listen up, come closer to the congregation and listen to when I say this to you closely. Nika Johnson, a credit coach and budgeting expert, and I help people take control of their money, baby. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to spend your tax refund. That's right. So, let's go ahead and get into it. If I can ask you something, what'd you do with your tax money last year? And don't stay on bills. What did you do the year before with your tax money? And the year before, you've been getting five, 10, 15, 20 bins, and what do you have to show for? Nothing, zero, nada. How many times you gonna keep getting a buy here, pay here? Quality over quantity. You shouldn't even always have to go get a cash car. But if you quit avoiding getting your finances in order and get your taxes together, maybe you could be able to actually get a reliable vehicle for once in your life. Instead of always getting a crappy car, a living car for that matter, or when your car break down, nobody will buy it back, you still owe it. So now you got two vehicles, the one that's sitting right outside that you can't even drive, but you still paying on it. Does that make financially sense? No, the point is you have nothing to show for for your tax money for the last couple of years. So let's make for sure that this time around you actually do something good with the money that your later self can be able to thank. So I hope y'all ready because I'm not going to hold back. Listen up to 10 things on what you need to do with your tax money. I'm not worried about what's the IRS. I'm not teaching y'all about the mumble jumbo or none of the tax laws or anything like that. Get that. When you get your money, what do you do with your money so you can keep your money and multiply your money so you can have more money? Because it comes a time and a place that you gotta look at yourself and take a little dose of accountability. And what are you doing with your money? But you keep saying you want more money, but you can't manage the money that you're making. Hmm. You keep playing these lottery tickets and it's not getting you nowhere. Hmm. You keep working two, three jobs, I is doing whatever you can to survive. I commend you for that. But however, when are we gonna stop ever being in survival? When are we gonna stop struggling? When are we gonna stop living check to check? Make for sure something shake this year when it comes to your tax money. Y'all ready to learn how to spend your tax money wisely? One, you don't have a savings account. Why? You feel like that is hard to save. No matter what you do, you can't just keep your head above water. Every time you turn around, something happens, right? I get it, I've heard that. And it is honestly true. How about, this is what I want you to do first. I want you to add $1,000 to your savings account. That's right, that savings is gonna be considered your emergency funds. So in the unfortunate circumstances or event, you can be able to pull from your savings. Now, when you gotta use it, don't be so afraid. Cause the point is to be able to use it for intended purpose, emergency. Getting concert tickets, Committing your tickets, that's not an emergency. Going out shopping, because your account overdraft and things like that, because you lack discipline and money management and simply budgeting, that's not an emergency. Did your car break down? Was there a medical expense? And maybe, or if you was sick or ill or the kids were sick, it may be that you didn't get all your hours in the payroll. So you needed it to cover it. That's fine. But don't get so caught up on always calling in and thinking that you could just double back and double, you know, dip into that. I want you to create and build emergency funds. And going forward, you should always have $1,000 at bare minimum. We know life be life, and we know one thing for certain, something always will come up. So how about you actually be proactive, not reactive, get ahead of the things that may happen in the future, because guess what? It's gonna spin this block and it's gonna do a number. But this time, when it spin this block, you actually gonna be better prepared than what you have been in, in the past. So, if you are struggling with saving money, I got something for you. Let me know, share this video with someone that may struggle with savings. Or if you got a friend or family or loved one that's getting ready to get that tax refund and cash in, cha-ching, dollar dollar bill, y'all. Go ahead and share this video. But I also need something in return as I'm helping you be better with your money. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. It's gonna help push out the video within the algorithms so we can be able to grow our YouTube channel. So, as I'm helping you, can you help me? Because I'm not holding back. 
and I hope you're ready to change your life and level up this year. We know why you need a savings because you don't have one. It's time to pay yourself first and so quit going through your tax refund before you even get it. Yeah, you get $7,951 and the money's already gone before it hits your bank account. What I don't want you to do is start scheduling payments the day that your refund check is supposed to hit your account because what happens if it was delayed? What happens if it was an accident and it wasn't deposited into the right account? Whatever it may be. And then you was trying to do the right thing, but now you got non-sufficient funds, checks bouncing, now you incur more debt because of all these fees and things are starting to rack up. When your intended purpose will truly get out of debt and I understand. So quit spending your money before you get it. Wait till the money is actually into your account. I know y'all be signing into your bank account at midnight. You may not see it. Typically between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. you may see the funds being available. Make for sure there's no check hold and you have access to it. Then start scheduling your payments. What I don't want is for you to get another tax refund and being unprepared and not properly planning your money. This year, new year, new me, right? Keep saying you want to be better, then do better. A lot of it is discipline. And I need you to stop feeling like I deserve. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Let's keep it real. You don't deserve it. You ain't doing enough. The difference between you and your counterparts is your execution. You lazy sometimes. This is your wake up call. So while we at it, let's go ahead and slide into two. I need you to pay off any past due bills. Pay any past due bills. So are you late on your rent? Are you late on your car note? Your utilities? If it's childcare, whatever past due bills, I want you to get caught up on that. In order to properly go forward, we gotta figure out what's holding us back. And right now, it's your past due bills. The one that keeping you up at night where you can't get proper sleep. You toss them and turn trying to figure a way out. And you've been counting on your tax refund for the last 365 days. I want us to stop being so dependent on tax refunds and actually position yourself to be in a better space to not have to be dependent on it. To that this is extra money, this cushion money could be used for better. A down payment starting a business, building a bigger cushion of your savings account, travel if it's in the budget, okay? But not being in a space of always counting down when it's tax time. So, so you got what you need to do first step, the first thing you need to do with your taxes, and you know what's the second. Past due bills also include any IOUs, okay? Quit being in debt. If you owe somebody, pay them back. Do the right thing. <laughs> and while we speaking about this, them past due credit cards, it's time to pay those back too. Just because the collection account doesn't mean that you no longer owe the debt. That is false. Okay? Don't mess around and get your wages garnished. Or turn around and get a lawsuit. It's time to pay off your credit cards. Yes, the rule of thumb. And let me explain before you come down my throat. Yes, the rule of thumb is keep your credit card balances below 30%. But you ain't been able to do that all goddamn year. You've been struggling paying a minimum payment. So guess what? I want you to pay the balances off. Not 30%, not 10%, to zero. Pay them off. That's right. You spending money that you ain't got. You living outside your means and you have nothing to show for. What did you invest? And only you know the answer. So think about it. And when you pay off these credit cards, let me add, I'm not telling you to turn around and go close them. Because then you could mess up your credit to where you're reducing your credit card utilization. You're decreasing your buying power and be able to leverage your credit. I'm not saying go close them. Now only you know who you are. I don't know. So if you someone that lacks discipline and you feel like it's better to just close them, do whatever you got to do. But credit is a tool. And if you don't understand on how to use this tool, it's going to keep whooping your tail. It's going to keep dragging you and running circles around you until you truly stop and really understand what the heck is credit. How can I understand it in simplest terms? Go watch my other YouTube video breaking down what is credit, the simplest way to understand it, what you need to do so you could be able to leverage too. But we need to be able to be in a space of understanding the one thing that controls us the most in life is your credit. Not all debt is bad. You ain't gotta be scared of debt. I wanna buy everything cash, wrong mindset to have, and I'm not here to explain that right now. I'm not. But you need to pay off your credit card balances. You want bigger limits, but you can't get bigger limits because you don't even know how to pay your bills on time. All them 30, 60, 90, 120 days, it's hurting you. You don't get to borrow money and pick and choose when you're gonna pay it back. Does that sound familiar? Cause I'm talking to you, that's right. 
Make this your last year mishandling your tax refund. I'm telling you what to do. This is a strategy, this is the game plan, this is what we need to do so you can budget your way to success, baby. Because what only you can define the level of success you desire through budgeting, savings, and credit. Okay? Because we're going to leave that four, that five, and that 600 credit score at the door. We claim the 700s. You deserve a 700, and I'm not talking about 700 vintage score. I'm talking about 700 and above. 700, 720, 737, 800, 820, 840. That's what we're representing. We are speaking that into existence, but you gotta handle this right now. You want your credit score to increase, but you ain't trying to pay off no debt and trying to get rid of it. Only so much credit repair go fix your credit, but go ahead, make sure you're paying attention and stay to the end, because I got something for you, okay? Sip this tea, and not all that tea that's on the shade room is spiritual world. Four, what you need to do with your taxes, I want you to pay your car insurance up for six months. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to say this. Quit getting car insurance just to register your vehicle and then turn around and canceling it. Because now when you hit somebody, you're mad because you're paying more. They getting over on me. No, you got over on yourself because you was being cheap. You knew that you were supposed to have insurance on that vehicle because you're still financing it. So now you got CPI, which is collateral protective insurance that a forced place insurance by the bank. Don't get mad when you keep paying on a car note you ain't seen the balance decrease. You're being reckless with your money and the decisions that you are making impacting you financially. It's not everybody else's fault that you're struggling. Quit going check to check. It's time to manage your money. It's so easy to find the money for the things that you want, right? You gonna make a way out of no way for them babies. What I want you to do is learn how to make a way to quit struggling all the goddamn time. It's so tired of always glorifying struggling year after year, check after check, time after time, generation after generation. If you're born in debt, it ain't your fault. But dying in debt is your fault. It's time to wake up. So you've been out here riding dirty. It's time to make for sure you're riding clean. We're allowing your insurance policy to lapse. Rate shop, get three different quotes, and just get it. Okay? It's an investment. <sighs> Another thing I noticed that everybody be like, insurance a scam, insurance gets over. Everybody is not a scam. Everybody doesn't get over. Quit, quit being cheap. Because you are going to pay more money for not having insurance than you actually have an insurance. So which one do you want? Which one is in your budget? You tell me which one is in your budget. Let me know. So we're going to pay that car insurance up to six months. And I need y'all to quit trying to be cheap because that ain't in the budget, okay? Of only getting liability when you know you need full coverage. I'm just saying. So let's pay our car insurance up for six months. Now, brace yourself. Brace yourself. Let me know. I got a question for you. Have you been to therapy? Let me know below. Have you been to therapy? And the reason why I'm asking this question honestly is because people don't really realize that your relationship with money typically stems from some type of form of trauma or not. The way you gamble, the way you smoke, drink, being a people pleaser, always showing for the world, being so independent and not even allowing people to show up for you. I've always won a school because it's a trauma trait from associates to a bachelor's to a master's to a doctor or just simply having multiple degrees. I get if that's your true aspiration, but sometimes you are going to school just to be a serial student because you don't know what else to do outside of that. It's time to take the mask off and the cape off. It is time to go to therapy. The one thing that you keep avoiding, I don't care how much you journal, I don't care how much you vent and you got a circle of friends, I don't care how much memes and self-development books that you repost or work through. You need an expert, okay? You need someone to help you unpackage that. That is skilled, that specializes in that. Just like if you had engine problems, if you had a axle or brakes or whatever case, something major with your car or anything for your car for that matter. You wanna go see an expert, someone that specializes in that, right? It's time for you to go see someone that specializes in helping you heal. And I'm not just talking about the outside level. I'm not talking about the cute glitz. I'm not talking about the surface level healing. It's time to dig deep. And the one thing that you keep avoiding, you don't know what to do. You keep making all these excuses, baby. I've been there. And one of the best things that I could do is to be able to heal. Because not only when I was able to heal inside of me, I was able to heal other broken pieces that I even realized that still existed. The things that I thought that I was okay and I wasn't. Those times that I'm always saying I'm okay and I'm not. Mm -mm. It's time for you. That's right to be more intentional and go see someone. 
and look into your health insurance to see if it covers that. It don't hurt to ask. But you are in this space that it's time to invest into you and not the world and start addressing them childhood traumas. Because what happens is when you're not addressing your traumas, your triggers, and, and figuring out why you are the way you are, and you bring kids into this world, you are basically walking around as an unhealed adult. Don't be that problem where your parents should have swallowed you. Six, it's time to renew them tag. Now, I'm just saying Nebraska is high. Nebraska is high. License and tax, it, it could be a couple stacks. If we ain't in our budget already, when them come, it definitely don't be like it's in the budget. So I want you to go ahead and pay up your license and your tax, anything that you need to do. Go ahead and do that, okay? I don't want no excuses. And once you go ahead and get that done, I need you to go ahead and invest into budget to success so you ain't got to be broke no more. And let me explain the broke phrase. Y'all ever feel like, dang, I'm broke, I ain't got no money? Stuff like that, that's all I'm coming from. When you feeling like, even if you got money and you're going from check to check, you be like, dang, where my money went? Or if you been in touch money, made money, you have nothing to show for. Let budget to success help and guide you. We have affordable resources that's in your budget. What I need you to do, stop what you're doing and go to www.isthatinyourbudget.com because it's definitely going to be in your budget to get your finances together. So if you want that house, that car, that 850 credit score, that business, that trip, whatever lifestyle that you want to be more present, to make more money, passive income, invest, whatever it is. It's gonna start with your credit. It's gonna start with your money. Management is the foundation of who you are and what you do. Your finances tells a, a picture about who you are as a person. Do you pay your bills on time? Are you responsible? Do you have discipline? Maybe there was a time of stress. It's a story. Life is a story. It tells so much about you. But all jokes aside, I need y'all to really put yourself first and get your finances together and quit making excuses. And while we at it, we're going to swing back to the car. And number eight, any car maintenance that you got, go ahead and fix that. You need new tires? Get it. If you need new brakes, get it. I'm tired of hearing your car scraping down the street, okay? If you didn't get new windows, get it. I don't know why you made me new windows. That ain't my business, okay? I'm going to mind the budget that pays me. And that ain't my budget, so I'm going to touch my nose. But whatever car maintenance that you have, let's go ahead and make sure we make that happen. The way you love on your car, the way your car going to love on you. Now, we focus on paying off debt. We focus on getting our finance and our money together and getting to the bag. What we can't do is not do right by our vehicles, which is going to get us to point A to point B. And you don't want to be walking out the door about to go work a double and your car won't start up. And now you're late from work, and then you go get a write up, and it's a trickle down effect. So don't work. So, hey, don't come back mad at me. I'm telling you what to do here. Go fix your car. Whatever car makes you need to do, go fix it. Next, what I want you to go ahead and do that phone that you lease and that you don't own because you want the newest iPhone. Of Look like that you fit in and you out here trying to keep up with the Joneses, but you was leasing it. It ain't yours yet. Go pay it at all. As long as there's no prepayment penalties or anything like that for paying it early, I need you to go pay that off because it's going to help load your bill. The goal and the mindset around this is, okay, the things right now, how can we free up our monthly expenses? How can we make for sure we in our budget? How can we make for sure, y'all thinking of what I'm putting down? This is why I want you to properly manage your money because baby, let, let, let's say this now. Every tax season, you don't need a new TV or <laughs> y'all be trying to buy new TVs for Black Friday, but you shouldn't have to go get a new TV every year. You don't need new funds for every year. I need you to put your money to somewhere that's gonna be useful. And so I need you to make for sure you follow these tips that I'm giving you the game. So make for sure you're picking it up because the execution is on you. So pay that phone bill off. And every time a new phone come out, baby, you do not need it. You want it. Know the difference between a need and a want while we at it. Okay, now, now. <laughs> Before, before we bring this in to the number 10, number 10, quit allowing GoFundMe to replace life insurance policy. The way you could go to Chick-fil-A, the way you could go get some Stella Rosa, the way you keep your nails done, your hair done, and everything in between. Baby, you look good. You look like you got money, but you don't have it, and that is a problem. What I want you to do is go get life insurance. I don't care if you get whole or term. That's not my business to tell you what you need. I just want you to start with something other than having nothing. So term or hold anything in between. Just start from somewhere you can continuously add it. You continuously increase it over time. But this is why we need to quit having children to property generation after generation. We don't have a sense of inheritance or nothing to be able to pass down other than debt and trauma. 
What I want you to do is make for sure you got a policy on you, your kids, and that no good men. Make for sure your kids go get something. If he ain't taken care of right now, the least you can do is make for sure you get a policy on them. What things is right, <laughs> put it down good and tight. Make for sure you got that life insurance over him or her for that matter. See, we don't talk about how life insurance is so important because even in the case of if you raising a child in a two-parent household, what happens if you lose one of those income? How are you gonna sustain? How are you gonna keep going? See, y'all be worried about the life conversation. It's about going to this fest, going to this concert. What's the plans for this weekend? Let's take this quick trip. I need a break from these kids. How about you have more substance in your conversations that you have on a daily basis other than gossiping to everybody else's life and spreading things in a group chat? Because the way you keep throwing rocks and hiding your hands with everybody else, what about someone else? was able to take a look into your dirty house and see what's really going on. So I'm here to tell you, get insurance. Don't tell me you don't know how, you don't know what to do. Research, try. Quit being lazy and do something that your later self can think. And while you're here, let me go ahead and give you this other little gem, this bonus. Quit being cheap when filing your tax and saying this is expensive. Expensive is subjective. Now, you could go to H&R Block, a Jackson Hewitt Taxes, you can always get an estimate. An estimate is typically free. You do not actually have to submit your returns, but you could be able to get an estimate of what you're going to get. Stop being cheap. Trying to file your taxes yourself, the thinking that you're saving some money, but you're losing some money because you're missing out your deductions. You do not know everything. Quit thinking you're grown, you ain't grown, okay? Listen up, come closer to the congregation and listen to what I say this to you closely. Make for sure that you ain't just going to your auntie, your cousin, or anybody in between to do your taxes. Don't go to somebody that's doing taxes just to be able to get a whole bunch of money and you don't pay attention to what the hell is going on. Don't go to taxes just because your home will guarantee they could give you a big refund check, but you don't understand why you get a big refund check. Fast money ain't no good and I'm here to keep it real with you. Be sure that you find someone that know what the heck they are doing. That they are legal and ethical. And go play that again. That they are legal and ethical. Make for sure at the bottom of your tax return that there's a tax preparer ID. I'm going to break that down. There is a preparer identification number that means that they are registered through the IRS. You know IRS, the one that everybody don't like, that one uncle, that drunk uncle at the cookout that's always running his mouth, that one. Uncle Sam, that uncle. That Uncle Sam that may be always drunk. Make for sure that they are registered with your Uncle Sam. It's basically called a PTIN number, Pure Tax Identification Number. Make for sure you ain't going to every blow Joe or anybody in between to hurry up and get your tax refund. And if your taxes was screwed up in the past, you can always go back and do an amendment. Don't say I ain't tell y'all nothing, okay? And I hope that y'all enjoyed this on what you need to do with your taxes. Make for sure something shake this year. And I ain't talking about just shaking your rooty to your tootie. And I ain't talking about shaking your rooty tootie down to Miami and you'll get that BBL because they ain't in style no more. But it's time to upgrade your life. And how to upgrade your life is be able to upgrade your taxes. Bars. I should be a rapper. No, I'm just like, let me keep my day job. But it is time to maximize your taxes. So if you found this video to be helpful with you, make for sure you like, your comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Show your girl some love. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Cause we about to make for sure we are changing the trajectory of our future when it starts with our finances. You may not be able to control everything, but this is the one thing that you can control. If you don't wanna be broke no more, it's time to put that in your budget. And before we get out of here, I just got one question for you. Is upgrading your life and properly managing your taxes and your budget? I think so.